almost in flight for bushcraft. Well, we started out on that overnighter, but plans don't always go according to plan. So much for plans. So here we are. Uh, broke down on the side of the road, broke out the tools, looked at a few things. Didn't find the problem yet. Um, Going to have to do some more digging, but oh well. Anyway, I'm only 30 miles from home, so I'm just going to go ahead and get towed in. Won't cost me anything. That's the nice thing about having road service. I I better I better let you know that little came along with me on this trip. She's in the background waving, and if I don't acknowledge her, if I don't acknowledge her, she's going to make it impossible to create a video here. So, hi, little. Hello. <laughs> well, what happened next resulted in an epic adventure, as it usually does. So we waited for the tow truck. Two hours, nothing happened. So we called another company, set something up. They said, somebody's on the way. It'll be a couple more hours. No problem. We know we had a little time. So hiked back to where the bike was because it was about a two mile hike just to get cell service and decided to get a little bit comfortable. So while I was at it, I thought I would uh, make a cup of coffee and it might be a great time to check out the Bigfoot Bushcraft uh, fire starting kit. So gathered a little wood, got the fire starter kit out and started up a uh, little campfire in a wide spot where we parked. We knew we were going to be there for a little while and knew we had time for dinner. So figured we'd uh, cook up the steaks that we brought and uh, may as well enjoy ourselves while we're there, right? Uh, first of all, the Bigfoot Bushcraft fire starting kit worked awesome. Uh, I only took a couple of scrapes of the fire steel there to, uh, to light the uh, plug and it burned plenty hot enough and long enough to get my uh, tinder burning there. Um, actually worked really well. I'm, I'm really happy with that. I'd recommend it to anybody. Um, I have absolutely no doubt that you could start a fire in a rainstorm with this and that to me is a big deal. So as you can see, uh, we boiled up a little bit of water for some coffee and uh, made a couple of cups of coffee, sat back, enjoyed those. I'll just let the coffee speak for itself. As all of you know who've been watching the channel, uh, I make good coffee. So we're getting close to uh, when the tow truck's supposed to show up, and of course, nothing happened. So after we finished our coffee and cooked up some dinner, ate our steaks, set up camp, and we had uh, walked up again and called Progressive to see if they'd sent the tow truck out. They of course had dropped the ball again. They offered to call the police to arrange a tow and we told them that really wasn't necessary. We'd just deal with it in the morning. If they could get a tow truck out there, great, but other than that, don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. So went back and crawled in the rack, done for the day, figured we'd deal with it in the morning. Well, about 11.30 at night, somebody rolled into the campsite. Turned out it was Sheriff's Department Search and Rescue looking for us. Progressive had taken it upon themselves to dispatch Search and Rescue to come find us. They were, of course, surprised to find us quite happy and comfortable and uh, not any kind of problems at all, but that's okay. So we accepted the ride back and in the meantime left the camp set up looking lived in. When we got back the next day everything was in order. We brought the bike back and uh, nothing at this point we don't know what's wrong with it but 
that's for another day. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you like the video, if you like the channel, please subscribe. And if you don't, that's fine too. I'll see you on the next one.